So I held off on doing one of these for quite a long time, but I was just watching the presidential debate today and felt that maybe I should speak up as well. I've been active in politics since 2008. I'm only 25 years old. I've been a Republican since I watched John McCain speak about politics. When I started getting into history, I was a huge fan of Ronald Reagan, Abraham Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt, all of them. I actively campaigned door to door for Mitt Romney in 2012. I have devoutly supported the Republican Party and its ideals until 2016. Something changed where we stopped trying to be a party of individual responsibility and economics and free market and capitalism and liberty and justice and independence and the Constitution and we fell over to identity politics and Donald Trump. Watching this debate, watching Donald Trump scream and yell over everybody felt different than every other presidential debate I've watched in the last what, 12 years? And I've watched every debate in the last 12 years and I had to turn this one off. I mean, I I don't like a single thing that Biden said about policy, about economics. I don't agree with Democrats. I don't. I don't like how they handle economy. I don't like how they handle foreign trade. I don't like how they handle uh, foreign affairs or diplomacy or war for that matter. And yet I cannot stomach the idea of another four years of Donald Trump in office. I don't care if it's the beneficial option. I don't care if it gets me the most out of anything. It doesn't matter. We as Republicans, as Americans, cannot do this. It's upsetting to watch a man stand in the office of the presidency and scream and yell and cry like a child. Biden used the word smart and Trump freaked out and started going off on his college record from Whenever the hell Biden went to college back in the 50s or 60s, how is that relevant to today? The man is so insecure about himself. It's it's dangerous. Something went wrong. And that's where we are now. I mean, something went wrong. And we have to correct And that means for Republicans, taking your medicine, sitting down and doing the right thing. I voted for Gary Johnson in 2016, thinking that it couldn't hurt. What's four years of Trump going to do? It's not going to be the worst thing in the world. I lived in Grenada for the last four years, and I've listened to people literally laugh when we talk about America. There's no pride. We have to be ashamed now, and it's Trump's fault.